One of the things we're most proud of with this game is our, our narrative. We wanted to tell a story that not only you know could engage fans, but was something that could be experienced on a, on a big screen if we decided to take it that way. And we knew that you know a lot of movie-based games have trouble, and those troubles are you know the fans don't particularly like them as much. And there's a lot of reasons for that, whether it's not enough time or not enough you know money put behind the game or not enough of the right creative people working behind it. And a very eventful day for us many many years ago we sat down and figured out what we wanted to do with this and one of the first things obviously you talk about is what kind of game do you want to make do you want to make a strategy game you want to make an rpg and for us it always came down to kirk and spock that star trek's always been about these two guys it's been you know the two halves of our own our, our own personality whether we're you know the logical type or we're just sort of the rogue cowboy who runs in and doesn't think about things and that really has inspired every decision we've made on the game We wanted to make a co-op game. We wanted to make a third-person you know, shooter because we wanted you to be able to see and feel Kirk and Spock. We didn't want you to see it through their eyes because then you wouldn't get the experience of seeing these amazing actors deliver their roles. And we weren't gonna make this game unless we had the cast. Not only we had the cast, we had all the cast. So we reached out to everybody early on. We reached out to Chris and to Zach and to Zoe and said, hey, we're making this game. Do you wanna be a part of it? And we were shocked at how quickly they responded back. They were like, absolutely we do, under one condition. We'll do it if everybody does it. Mr. Scott, prepare to transport. Aye, aye, sir. Energize. Choosing the Gorn as our enemy, again, took place on the very first day we had a meeting where we discussed what enemy do we want to see in the game, and the Gorn was right at the top of all of our lists because not only was he just in one episode, you know, 40-something years ago, he stuck around. People still talk about the Gorn to this day in that amazing episode that was done. We had the opportunity in a game not to just you know, have them show up and be cannon fodder for our weapons. We wanted to tell us and the audience who these people actually were. It was a huge responsibility. You're given one of the most beloved science fiction sort of characters of all time and told, hey, you have the opportunity to show them in a new light, to really create a culture for them. And, you know, it was really exciting. For us, Star Trek is bigger than just a game. It's bigger than just a film. It's a brand that's been with us for over 40 years. It's something that's been very important to us as a studio. And in order to take this great new world, this rebooted world that everybody works so hard to get people to re-engage re with Star Trek and take it into a gaming space, we knew we had one shot with it. That if we put out a subpar game, if we put out just a standard movie-based game that didn't live up to people's standards, we were dead. We'd never be able to come here again. We'd never be able to do another game. And we wanted to be true to what Star Trek was. We wanted something that had great action, so there's great action set pieces, but also this great level of optimism and exploration and discovery. And we wanted to make something that our fans would know felt like Star Trek. It wasn't just another game with a Star Trek label slapped on it.